Potato salad. Potato salad. Potato salad. Potato salad. I was hoping for potato salad. Naruto is best dad. Show me potato salad. Wasn't there a uh, Kickstarter for potato salad at one point? That is the most amazing Kickstarter story ever. <laughs> oh, that guy made millions off of potato salad. I love potato salad. Me too. Me too. Me so too. Dang. Me too. Don't no, listen to me. You too. donate over a hundred dollars, you can get potato salad. It's You're like, funding our potato salad addiction for the next fifty years. You've I, exceeded our Kickstarter <laughs> fund by seven billion dollars. For every million dollars, we will hand out one bowl of potato salad <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> to a hungry orphan in another country when they find us. All right. Until that time, we'll keep that potato salad fresh and warm until it goes bad and goes cold. And then we'll throw it away, and they miss their opportunities because they know we have the potato salad. If they want it, they can find us. <laughs> you know where to find us. So do you Look at our address. We didn't post it. You'll have to try harder, little kid. <laughs> so you want to know what it was? It was a gold pledge of ten dollars for just potato salad. It was like okay, like he was just kind of close enough for ten bucks. He ended up making fifty-five thousand four hundred and ninety-two dollars <clears throat> with six thousand. Was, was, was there a video for this? Damn. Um, I think there was like a later video of his reaction of like because he didn't expect to. I, I, I'm not caring about later. I'm caring about with that donation that the start. Was there anything? Um, I believe it was like behind the scenes or something, but that's it. I don't care about behind the scenes. I just want to know, was there a Kickstarter video saying, hey, I want to make potato salad, donate 10 bucks, and I got it. Yeah. It, that's it? Was it? Was that a video, or was that just the description in the thing saying, I just want to make potato salad? I think it was just the description. It was just the description. Okay, so what we're going to do is when you guys get home, start a Kickstarter, <laughs> each of you do a dish... Dibs on potato salad. <laughs> Dibs on potato salad. I'm kidding. Salad, I'm the kidding. They, they're not going to fall for it twice. We need to do different dishes. <laughs> so, uh, as proven, Kickstarter is the biggest gamble of the world. So, I mean, yeah, they'll kickstart anything. I, what's the gamble? You waste five minutes of your time creating a Kickstarter? Yeah, we waste our time. It's just everyone that made those pledge goals. Because I think at one point he was just mailing it out. There was a big party. He actually made um, someone made a film thanking all the backers. Just stuff like that. Because it was like. Pretty much as they kept opening, because it was like, there's no way we're going to reach this. Also, he starts reaching more. He's like, um, i got to make up some goals. And I think it ended up being that he ended up having, like, a big block party of potato salad. Like, where he was just like, ah, oh, people come on in, we're bringing people in, things like that. If just I exceeded the goal, I would order shirts made for the dish <laughs> and just have something on it. It's Mike animated, just holding the dish, just... Hmm. <laughs> just, like, slash cut... Like a badly photoshopped bowl of potato salad with Nicolas Cage just going. Oh my god! <laughs> with, that, with that smile Smile. from uh, Face Off, where he's leaning forward with his eyes all wide and just googly, just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really fucking creepy. You probably use the uh, part of that money to ask for permission. That way, he doesn't sue you, or just have money to you throw at him if he tries to sue you. Kidding you kidding me? All the, all the, all I wouldn't be buying. Like, people wouldn't be buying the shirts, they'd be getting them for, like, donating X amount. Pretty much, right, that's how Kickstarters enough. work, is pretty much just, like, like if you Once donate. the Kickstarter ends, I'd be like, okay, these are the top 30 people who donated. They're getting a shirt. You know, gotcha. that kind of shit. I would, I would do potato that. salad on it. Yep, and the runners-up would not a Not a, like, a, a symbol on it or anything. No, like, potato salad actually smushed onto it. <laughs> that would be disgusting. Yeah. Um, uh, this runner up, like, next 30 people would get, like, a pin with just a picture of whatever the hell I made. <laughs> and the next 50 would get, I don't know, a mystery box. Yes. Yeah, you know, I'll like just, a... like, go to a grocery store, shove my arm into the back of a shelf, and just start ramming shit into a cart and <laughs> of, like, canned goods and shit, like, here... This guy gets da 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 a can of peas. This guy like, gets creamed corn. It's like just put up, put up a thing for groceries. Put up, put up one for groceries. Someone put up one for gas. Someone put up one for I don't know socks. This proves that Kickstarter is a monster within itself. Is when potato salad can make over fifty thousand dollars, and it's just like you know sometimes I love Kickstarter. Other times you look at it and you go, this is a monster. Thank God, it's so worthy of uh, perks. Where were the perks? Um, I believe one was like, uh, so let me see here. 
Fine, let me find let me find the rewards for this hell on earth potato salad. And like the top tier, like fifty thousand goal mark will be me just smothering myself with potato salad on camera for and the at internet. At that point, you could probably uh, uh, ask so people to help you buy a house, and you might just, get some people helping. No, people do that. People do that on GoFundMe. Ah. That's GoFundMe. Kickstarter is projects. Okay. It's projects like and madness. Yeah, that's so like, build a house. That's that's where people would be <laughs> by, be like, I want to build this amazing recreation of the Millennium Falcon set. To be my house. Can you kickstart this project? <laughs> and example. make this a reality so I can build a museum to Star Wars in my own home. Or as I've seen, the little metric ton of Call of Cthulhu as just different board games. There's literal shit oh, tons. It's there's always... There's a ton of Cthulhu related people, stuff. People yeah, use Kickstarter more for that. the whole donating money to a person like the Flat Earth guy who... He was going to fund me to build his rocket, rocket ship yeah. and get arrested. Uh, Pat, uh, uh, Paul Manafort, when he was suffering from having way too many lawyers, and it was apparently draining him that he had to sell one of his houses, he used GoFundMe to help. Help with that. But you've seen I, I have kids started the house. Um, the Zero Hour game and yeah. the Agents game, or, or Kickstarter game. True. Yeah. So but basically, kick, got the Kickstarter... Nice slender plushie. Yep. Kickstarter is meant to give people who have big ideas that they want to do a platform with which to get support and funding from people. The main majority of it being games. Mm -hmm. There are books, there are people who try to do films, things like that, but it's always like, depending on how much you pledge to it, we'll give you certain bonuses. Yeah. So like, potato salad, it pledge a dollar. You get a thank you, and then he shouts you out when making the potato salad. Two, a thank you note. Um... You receive a photo of me making the potato salad with a thank you post on the website. Three dollars. Receive a bite of the potato salad, a photo of me making the salad with a thank you and everything like that. So always just reward. Five dollars or more. Choose potato salad appropriate ingredients. Add potato salad and receive a bite of potato salad. Platinum level. Hang out in the kitchen with me while I make potato salad. Potato madness. Receive a potato salad thank you haiku written by me. Your name carved into a potato that was used in the potato salad. Well, and a side jar of mayonnaise. Well, Dimitri, you didn't get your wish about John McCain going into the Senate building, just wielding a bat, and just going he all He passed away? Him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. John McCain passed away? Yeah, because yeah, he, he was... Um, like, two days ago, he stopped uh, performing any, like, medical help on his brain cancer, hmm. and today, he passed. Brain cancer is a bitch. Yeah, but... Well, the, we've dated this episode. Let's yes, keep going. Have. Uh, yeah, so it was up to $110 no, was receive a recipe book, t-shirt, a hat, along with the bite of potato salad, and the photo and everything else. And I had 21 backers on that, 106 backers on the $50 one, 585 on the $35 one, 289 on $25, 4 backers on 20 464 on $10 or more, 589 on $5 or more, one thousand two hundred and seventy two on three dollars, one thousand two hundred and fifty three on two dollars, and then two thousand it's like two thousand eighty four on one dollar. Giving him his fifty five thousand it's like his fifty five thousand dollars. For potato salad. For potato salad. <laughs> Mike's just just face. No, I'm I'm staring at Batman's elbow on that poster. I'm just like that's a that's a nice arm gauntlet. Oh, it is <laughs> beautiful. I kind of stopped zoning it. I stopped paying attention and started zoning out when you started going through numbers. I'm just like, numbers. no, no, <laughs> no. I've gone through the whole day without having to spout numbers. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. All right, I'm, fair I'm not enough. Gonna, I'm not gonna start now. Fair enough. I don't need the eight six seven five three zero nine fucking bullshit <laughs> going on. I I don't need to know the little old lady from Pasadena is coming down. To Georgia to get weed from the devil. I don't need to know these things. <laughs> get weed from the devil. I don't know, need to know these things. That'd so she can have her fucking penny weed. penny royal tea. I think is the flavor she was going for. I don't know if they heard you. Can can you hear me? Can you hear what we're saying right now? That is the question. Because I I keep this thing above our heads so that. The noises aren't far Morbid away. They're all equally. Carry knife. <laughs> 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 
And then Dimitri's whispering things like morphing coin carrying knife into my ear, and I have to ponder, what is life without potato salad? It, 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 literally, what? it's literally just it pulls up. It's just a. Small oh, see, out. see, that's disappointing, right there. That's that's just a, a wheel fold up pocket knife. I was hoping to see something like a Power Ranger fucking Morphin Morphin coin coin. staring me in the face, (laughs) ready to whip out a knife and point it into my eyeball and be like, we're the drugs, man. Hey, 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 Velociraptor, it's okay. I got the stuff. I swear I got the stuff. No, I was was going for more fear and loathing in Las Vegas. (laughs) Uh, Every time I keep looking at it, the more it gets worse. It's amazing. He, he, As you're he's turning, going down I the advise you to drive at high speeds. You got thirty minutes before you turn into a goddamn animal. Amazing friends. Amazing so, heroes. We're not looking up pictures of shit. We're looking up interesting shit. Get that folding <laughs> fake morphin coin out of here. You, you Actually, these were, were rather cheap looking action figures, but yeah. <sighs> when aren't figures cheap these days? They all look fucking cheap. They all look true, cheap true, as shit. True. I mean, those look like... I remember a time things. when I could buy a case of soda in the box. I remember a time of GoBot. Shut the fuck up, GoBot fan motherfucker. I'm talking about my back in the day. Back when I was older than you. We'll get back to your day. We'll get back to my day. I'll tell you what day you can remember, you son of a bitch. Remember <laughs> Sean remembers? Shodas are over there, you old motherfucker. <laughs> Pepper's farm. Pepper's farm can suck a dick. <laughs> I remember a time when there was no Pepper's farm. You know farm. what Pepper's farm remembers? The taste of dick in their mouth. That's a flavor you can't wash out. No siree. Pepper's farm will remember that for the end of time. You remember now that Pepper's was farm? old reconstruction era. I'll tell you what Pepper's farm remembers. They remember the power of my pimp head when I backhanded their bitch asses for trying to act like they knew better than me. I'll show you what I remember. Putting, a, remember. putting Pepper's Farm in their place. <laughs> <laughs> is this my, is the story of Mike's jerk chicken that we're going on here? <laughs> Apparently Pepper's Farms is a hoe working for some unnamed old pimp who just has the power to backhand an entire company. The same line of thinking that Mike's jerk chicken will drive you mad. <laughs> That was some mighty fine jerk chicken. Mighty fine jerk chicken. Mighty fine. I know, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> I was not, but I can imagine. I Anyways, I believe we were talking about something something involving Shonen Jump? Yeah, things? Uh, what do you think, Pepper's US? Farms? Well, what do you think, like, Pepper's Farms? What, what, what do you think, about? Pepper's what Farms? What you Farms? Come on. You know what I remember? I remember I could pick up a soda box like I was talking about before Chris interrupted me like a son of a bitch and that you could pick them up and they wouldn't snap like a goddamn toothpick. Anyway, that was my... That was, that's the end of that story. Bye, old man. On, 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 a, on a side note, I hate soda boxes these days. So, they're, they, so flimsy. they're so fucking flimsy and they snap and break. Oh, I know. They make them out of cheaper cardboard or fucking... Yeah. Uh, Biodegradable. No, no, the, or thinner amounts of cardboard. They it's used to like it. layer ah, the sheets more. No, the stuff we got at our work, the ST one hundreds and all that, same flimsy ass cardboard. And those things are fragile, so it's like you're trying to hold out with one hand, it's gonna rip. It's like, why? Why is made Why would you put several fucking ounces of liquid and metal cans inside this flimsy ass shit? It's gonna snap. <laughs> I don't even know how people get that shit from the cart into their car by the handle without it snapping and spilling soda cans all over the place. I don't know how they do it. I had to, like, practically hold the damn thing with two arms and be like, careful now. Careful, the nitroglycerin could go off for no reason at all. <laughs> like, that's that's what soda boxes are. They're fucking glass, man. I mean, they are. You're not what if they just going to start making them out of glass? So when you have to shove your fingers in that little <laughs> perforated area, it's like... <laughs> Ah! Drops on the ground. <laughs> Why? Why would they do this? This was a bad idea. And guys behind glass door, glass uh, fucking wall, just like, okay, glass is not a suitable substitute for cardboard. All right, what's next? Steel. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> but yeah, Shonen Jump. Shonen Jump. We, oh, you, we were gonna talk Shonen Jump. Specifically, Jump Force, the video game. 
<laughs> With the most fucking like, what the fuck? Go back and show me that again. Moment in the first trailer. <laughs> it's like, oh shit! All it's this a... anime stuff. No, 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 it's not even that. It's not even that. Wow. It's just like, oh shit! What's the Spider-Man looking Luffy shit? What's the... why the fuck does Frieza look like this? Why does Naruto's face look so fucking ugly? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, it's just like. Rooftop, okay, panning out, boom, okay, why is light there? <laughs> what is he I gonna do? Bore them with politics? Worlds. Is he gonna monologue at them? It's not, he doesn't move the entire fight, he just stands solitary. Every button is just a monologue. Yeah, see, that, see I just like, the new world, the new world, I am the god, god. Of the, you just get this. I am justice. It's just like, uh, the, oh my god, and it's just like every time they come at you, they get pushed back by the goddamn monologues. Yeah, no, like I'll, a wall of monologues. Just and then when you do enough damage, it's like a shockwave uh, light, monologue energy. Ryuk just kills him. No, I was gonna say, no, it's, uh, it's, he's gonna be, um, Phoenix Wright from Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So the entire time, he's gonna, he's gonna try to collect your name. Uh, he's used Ryuk as just a block of all the abilities, so it's just like, ah, uh, I can't do anything. Ryuk, t take all this damage from me. I gotta find another name. <laughs> um, but yeah, what's been announced about uh, Ryuk and Light Back. is that they are the reason that the story's gonna happen. Like, they're <coughs> behind the scenes. So, it's led some people to believe that they're not gonna be playable characters. My thought is either they're gonna be DLC... Or they're gonna be, you have to finish the story to get them. I'd be fine with having to finish the story to get them, because then it gives you at least a goal to finish the story. Here's the thing if they make them the villains and you don't actually fight them because they aren't playable and they die in a cinematic, I will be very displeased. I question like they how die they... to the real villain? Well, I, I question more of just like how the <laughs> hell did Light come, like, how did Light, when you cause that? Because it's like, okay, either one or two things. One, they all exist in the same universe and we're just accepting that. Via Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, where it's like, okay, they're all in the same universe, we're just rolling with it. Or, oh, two, Light Ryu caused this, which then goes, how much power does Ryu actually have? Because now you're just bullshitting me. No, I just, I just imagine a moment where Light's just like, I have manipulated God into just crossing over all our worlds. And then Vegeta's just like, but I'm still here! <laughs> Do you really believe your own hype? I, I am, am the hype! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, he's pulling your dad. Damn it, damn, damn it, it, damn it! Oh, hey, speak of the devil. <laughs> <laughs> I want Piccolo in the game. Is that me? Is that me fighting me stronger than me? I'll kill me! <laughs> uh... You, strong! It's like, you, too strong! You, Namekian, strong! Too strong! Why? How? Stop <laughs> Explain it! Now. <laughs> Explain now! Explain now! He absorbed yeah. Kami. What the hell's a Kami? Basically, I'm basically yeah. gone. But I'm still here! <laughs> Really believe your own hype. I am alive. He is no. He is no longer a mere Saiyan warrior. No. Oh, he has become a legendary Super no, Saiyan. No. 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 <laughs> uh, but he's yeah. so cool. But, he's but so that's so dumb. But he's so cool. But, but that's, that's so, so dumb. dumb. But he's so cool. In the topic of games... What do we call you, monster? Devil? Uh, no, it's not... Um, what? No, it's, um... When it's four-on-one, -on -one, monster... Monster! Broly is not a monster. Broly is... Duh. Duh. A genuine freak? A true demon? The, the devil. devil! Oh, oh my god! He's so goddamn cool! Uh, uh, I still... My favorite part of all that, despite that line... <coughs> was when Goku and Piccolo charged Broly, <laughs> and they removed all the music, all the sound effects, and then they slapped in grunt noises that the a voice actors made, and then a bunch of just like, no, 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 you're oh. clapping. It's, cl it's, you're clapping still. Uh, no, no, no. No, you're, you're, you're no, making clapping noises. No, it's more of like, yeah, like it's just, yeah, that. Which is actually funny. Meet you... flappy noises just slapping against each other. Which is even funnier when you actually look at the um, the closed captions on that. Because uh, if you look at the Canadian closed captions, there's more jokes in there. And one of the jokes is just, Vegeta furiously masturbating. Just, Because <laughs> there's like stuff like that. They replaced Piccolo with uh, Goku's real dad. Um, there's just some in jokes that they just start putting into the captions because they start having fun with it. Man. Yeah. Man. Go on, really angry. 
Piccolo better talk to him about that. Because <laughs> that's why if you ever if you ever play Dragon Ball Fighters, and so you see someone playing Goku, uh, Team Gohan, and Piccolo, it's Team Gohan and my two dads. <laughs> Piccolo best dad. Because Piccolo's best dad. Piccolo is his only dad. <laughs> like, I mean, he's the only one who raises Pan. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like, Piccolo is the surrogate father that Gohan, sh- uh, I think, is glad he has. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go- Gohan even fully admits that. that like, Piccolo- Gohan, duh! Did our heart just skip a beat? Because <laughs> he finally dodged. It was beautiful. That is, that is I like some outfit like you, Mr. Piccolo. Did our heart just skip a beat? Isn't that precious? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> you must be so proud. I mean, Close beam! You could, could be dodging better. <laughs> Mr. Popo has a booty call and he's kicked me off the lookout for the night. The last time this happened, I found five bodies. He laughed when I said five. <laughs> Mr. Popo, are you torturing a cat? I don't torture cats. <laughs> Uh, Who has summoned the great dragon? Oh, it's you, you my master. Nah, <laughs> uh, give him a few years to sort it out. <laughs> Which was the best reaction I think me and Chris when we first saw it for the first time. We are just like, Woo! of course, pick, of course, Popo is fucking just god to the goddamn dragon. Master of dragons. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, fuck I, it. I still like when Little Green shows up and he back sasses Mr. Popo. <laughs> Mr. Popo's like just, frowny just, face like makes this horrible <laughs> grinding on metal noise as it creeps up into a smile. Like, <laughs> oh, we're gonna have so much fun together. Oh, uh, I so like you. <laughs> Excuse me. But back to Jump Force. Yes. Because they recently yes. had a new trailer. Yes. You know what? They need to put Piccolo in there, and they need to have commentary of Nail just like badgering you when you play him. <laughs> but they may, need to make it like Team Four Star, so the two of them are just arguing back and forth. I mean, I mean, double drill beam. I mean, we already know that uh, one of Team Four Star's members is actually the announcer in Dragon Ball Fighters. Oh, really? Yeah, they talked about in one of their um, their one of their uh, when they were first playing the beta that one of the voice act the one the announcer <laughs> is one of the members of Team Four Star from the English. Ah, oh, it's a shame they didn't get any of them to do any of the other voices. It's sad. Uh, Wait, didn't they get this guy who did Cell to do Cell? I don't think they got Cell. Like, at least none of that I know. I can be wrong. I can be wrong. Gotta though. check on that. Yeah, we'll, we'll fact check that later. We'll fact check that later, because I recall hearing somebody say that they got the guy from Team Four Star to do Cell. I mean, if they did, I'd give them credit. If, they, that's fucking if they did, yeah. that'd be great. <laughs> also, Go fucking, back and I, punch my perfect jawline! I'm gonna miss him when he's dead. <laughs> I always love those little clips. Just... Our talks are nice. You can't touch me. Then what do you call the last 20 minutes? Pity. <laughs> Boy, you Pity? can't imagine. The... No, can't fathom the amount of dead men behind me. <laughs> Fire Flash! Oh, you even gave it a cute. Oh, shit! Oh, cutie, need no shit! <laughs> Which is actually in the German version. In the German version of that scene, it's actually that he just says, Oh shit! We're getting hit. <laughs> that oh, would be an appropriate bastards. response when there's a giant death beam of energy just coming straight at you. I'm what, surprised nobody it? else says it in any oh, other version. Can you blow up the planet? Yeah, he hasn't gone that crazy. He's gonna blow up the planet. But I live here! <laughs> but I live here! <laughs> sense of mean! Always sense of mean. <laughs> It's Krillin! Ah! <laughs> Krillin, you're the strongest human on the fucking planet. <laughs> Which is a sad, sad footnote for the rest of humanity. Well, I mean, you think about it, it's not even the saddest footnote. It's the fact is that everyone else around him is sucking OP as shit. Because you guys, like, it's like... Krillin's sucking strong. Saiyan, Saiyan, half-breed, 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 alien, uh... Triclops. Triclops. And then there's do, do we do triathlon. we even put Yamcha anywhere on that list? No, because Yamcha is such. <laughs> well, a... he does know the I'm spirit a... ball. Oh. Sure, yeah, he does know the spirit ball, but in comparison of like everything else, Com- okay, spirit ball. It's about down here, below my knees. All right, it's not the Hellzone bomb. grenade up here. <laughs> spirit bomb in the stratosphere, just like the I don't one. No, the Hellzone can get, grenade can still kill people. Spirit bomb can only kill people if you're pure evil. 
That's from... <laughs> Spirit Bomb is still a planetary devastating attack. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm not pure evil. The Spirit Bomb doesn't care. A planet's a planet, and you're going to die. I mean, no one's... <laughs> wait, yeah, that's right. Only one person's ever died from the Spirit Bomb. Yep. Kid Boo. Yep, because he was pure chaotic evil. evil. Mm -hmm. Even Frieza so, survived it. Frieza survived he it. He was Jiren apparently kicked pure it. evil. <laughs> Jiren kicked it. He was just an asshole. Yeah, Jiren, no, no, Jiren no. caught it and then pushed it back at Goku. Yeah, you that's know what? No, Jiren... Frieza's not an asshole. He's... <laughs> He's literally committed no, he, extinction to several He's planets. chaotic. He's chaotic dick. Yep. <laughs> that's chaotic neutral. For those of you who don't know, that's that's the nickname people give chaotic neutral characters. Because they're a cunt hair away from being chaotic evil, but they don't cross that line so they can get away with almost anything they do. You want to be a good guy? Eh, you could do it because you don't play by the rules. You want to be a bad guy? Fuck it. You don't care. You don't play by the rules. <laughs> You want to rob from the rich and give to the richer? Ah, eh, fuck it. You don't play by anybody's rules but your own. You want to rob from the rich and keep for yourself? Ah. Eh. He's a dashing rogue. Who you got this. afraid of anything. <laughs> Except this is Frieza, and actually he's afraid of a lot of things, because apparently his track record of dealing with Goku has proven that this is bullshit. I mean, he did beat Goku the one time. Which time was that one? Uh, uh, when he came back as Golden Frieza. Right, when he first came as Golden Frieza, and then it was that they realized the flaw that gold, he never mastered Golden Frieza. Which well, then... he, he achieved it, but he never trained of how to control his energy level. Yeah. That. So he kept wasting energy. Hmm. Which I and like... then when he was trapped in hell for the rest of that, he managed to control his energy. Hmm. So he can stay in Golden Frieza form for... Long periods of It's time. why I was sad about Dragon Ball Heroes, the anime, when that came out. Because it's just like, I do love when they bring it up, because Cooler just looks and it's like, so my brother can turn to gold, right? Fuck that, I can do it too. And I was like, it'd actually be funnier if he turned more silver, just as like a little bit of irony. Yeah. But I still accept that just Cooler learned it, and it's like, yeah, no, I, I, I like Cooler. Learned I can believe it. Cooler learned it. In the end, we learned that Frieza was Cooler. <laughs> and Cooler was Freezer. <laughs> Cooler, you must be ice cold. No, that'd be my father. <laughs> no, that'd be my father. <laughs> it's not your son, there. He keeps kicking me in the dick. Why? Why, Why does he keep, keep kicking, kicking me, me in the, in the dick? dick? <laughs> as, as much as I love that fucking voice, uh, the only other Vegeta voice that actually like makes me laugh is uh, Oni's. Yeah. Yes! Tickle my wiener. <laughs> I forget how it goes. Okay, then. <laughs> he, like, has to strangle himself to do that voice. Like, he has to constrict his throat so much. Just like, yes! Uh. I don't know how it works. Uh. I, I haven't heard it in so long, I don't remember what it sounds like. It's like I'm gonna start beating you now. No, no one else talk. <laughs> Gekka, Gekka, Carmen Electra. <laughs> <laughs> the cake is delicious. <laughs> but, I mean, at this point, I'm just going back to Jump Force characters, I'm just like... At this point, I mean, yeah. we can throw anybody into there. I mean, why don't you just throw... I'm just, still waiting for I mean, the villain for uh, Naruto. Because we got Naruto, we got Sasuke. Who's going to be the villain? Oh, we tell Madara. I would imagine Madara or Orochimaru. True, because those two are the most yeah. popular. I would like... The most well-known. I would like Kakia, even though she's a hero. We ain't going down that route. <laughs> and, I mean... She's legit. a tragic hero. That is true. But, I also think about it, it's like, I think about it in the long run, I'm like, the thing about it is, would anyone really care? Like, you I, would care, but I imagine, I like... I can think of five. Alright. Madara, Obito, Kaguya, Orochimaru, Kabuto. Yeah, I would like yeah. Kabuto. So, those are the five choices I see for villains. I am... Because, honestly, they make the most sense, because they're yeah. big mainstay villains... Mm -hmm. Like, you say Orochimaru, uh, everybody knows who the fuck you're talking you say, about. You say fucking uh, Obito, mm -hmm. everybody will know who you're talking about. You say Madara, everybody knows who you're fucking talking, talking about. about. You say Kaguya, some people may be like, who? Uh, okay, the, oh that's, yeah, the, that's the, why the, the mother see. of the Six Age. Yeah, that's why I don't see that's her, because she's like an obvious They've like title. mentioned her in like the background, like whenever they bring up the Six Age or the origin of Chakra, it's like, oh yeah, there was a woman named Kaguya <laughs> when she ate the forbidden fruit. But she I thought, like, much more her. later, whereas Madara even had a legacy back then, even in the original series, before the Shippuden jump, before the time skip, uh, you had Orochimaru as the mainstay, which honestly is the reason why... killed 
the third Hokage. So he's like, he's the first real villain that was like the main save. Like, no matter what was going on, it was always Orochimaru doing shit. As as a, as the main villain, not just like uh, just a character who was in it from the beginning. Madara, not Madara, uh, Orochimaru. Uh, yeah. Orochimaru has been in there the longest. Yeah. Because yeah, he's all the way from the beginning. He didn't start acting like a good guy. I'm using air quotes here for those of you who can't see. Uh, he didn't start acting like a good guy until the fucking world was ending. Yeah. And then it's just like, oh, well, and, fuck. And there's some speculation about that, which <laughs> in a way makes sense. Because that Orochimaru soul came from uh, Anko, the first person to ever get the curse mark. Mm-hmm. From Roach Mark. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so it's believed that that piece of soul is before he started going down this crazy path of experimenting on whoever he wanted, killing thousands of people. So he's he a little still, more. He's, he's a little more like kind of yeah. neutralist because he exactly. wanted to do it just for research purposes and doing it for the better of Konoha. That's While also. Roach Maru, we're all thinking about is the one that. When it's Sasuke's eyes. Well, to be fair, eyes are they, uh, the one piece that was in Anko was probably a more complete piece yeah. than the shit he kept transferring through bodies because their arms would go all... Bloop, bloop, bloop. Yeah. Because he lost that piece of his soul. Yeah. yeah. Which drove him a little bit crazy. <clears throat> more yeah. crazy. Which, it's never proven if that's it, but that is a nice little speculation. Well, yeah, I kind of uh, stopped watching after he uh, um, sort of came back as some other dude. Some other um, dude. I don't know. You know how he seems to he do switches the bodies. Soul body switch thing. He's done stopped. that a lot. I know. So I you have to be more specific on when he came okay. back. The the form he took after the long haired emo look when he first they all go back to that look. Oh, he oh. modifies. He them to loves look that, that way. look. Even, okay. No matter if he's possessing well, male shit. or female, he'll always he will like automatically uh, switch he'll, his body. He'll, he'll, he'll make them all look like his old self. Well, and a snake skin. Yeah. When he went into that one kid with with the, I think it was like white spiky hair and stuff, like just I know as who we you're were talking stra- about. Yeah. It's right after he lost his arms, couldn't wait for Sasuke's training to be complete, so, so he needed a new body. Yeah. So he yeah. immediately switched. I kind of yeah. stopped watching after that point, but uh, did, Which, did he keep the noodle arm? No, no he no, got him back. Okay. He still felt the sickness that he gets whenever he trains bodies, because he can only do it for three years, because he's never found a body that can truly handle him. He was hoping Sasuke would be able to do it, but he didn't take into account the Kag- Kaguya, not Kaguya. Yeah, Kaguya. Kaguya was bound to be one of his subjects, but yes, he was, was sick. sick. That was the only reason why he, he never took his body, because he wanted his body, but he found out he's sick. Kaguya, you're uh, talking about... Um... Kaguya, Kaguya's the bone guy. Yeah. There's two characters named Kaguya in that series. One's the chick at the end, one's the bone, bone guy, guy that fights uh, <laughs> Rock Lee and Gara. Yeah. Gara. I know it's pronounced Gara. Right, yeah. But yeah, he wanted the bone Godzilla. guy, but the bone guy also had bone cancer. Oh, no, he didn't have bone know, cancer. But he had a disease. He had he had some undescribed terminal illness, and for some reason, or, despite their despite their level of weird technology, or tomorrow had like a full like futuristic medicine setup, just like get into the pod, boy. Yeah. See, that makes you think of uh, <laughs> the only thing that uh, was jutsu about it was. This uh, face drape mask yeah, that had on his head. Yeah, this face drape that had like symbols Fu and Jutsu all, all over it. No, but that makes you think of um, Fu and Shiki. Just to kind of like to segue away a little bit, just to Marvel real fast. That makes you think of um, One More Day when Spider Man's Aunt May got shot, and it's like Doctor Strange can't heal a bullet, Doctor Doom can't heal a bullet, Mister Fantastic can't heal a bullet. It's like nobody can heal a gunshot wound. It's a gunshot wound, kids. It's like, um, oh no, my Mystic Arts, I can't heal a gunshot wound. But the you creator, the man, time, you fucking he, stupid fuck. He should have just gone to the X-Men. Hey, Angel. Nope. You just hold up a fucking tube with two needles. Give me a top up, would you? <laughs> like, um, nobody can heal it. That's what the fuck is. But at one like, of the uh, Naruto cons, somebody asked the creator, is Orochimaru immortal now? And he's like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, fucking, Naruto yeah. even states during the... Stupid, by the way. Parent-teacher conference. Yeah. With his son during the Boruto future. Yeah. That Orochimaru is younger. Well, wow. you fa- got a facelift. Yeah, I was like, well, he 
is possessing, he, from last time we knew, he's still possessing one of the white setsus, which that's essentially immortality right there, because white setsus don't age. So here's the question. Okay. Is Orochimaru the mom or the dad? They actually answer that question. They actually he, ask It's it. legitimately, he says, I am just whatever, because I've been both male and female so many times, I yeah, just don't on, care. Okay, yeah, when you birthed that boy, what were you they at don't the time? Did, did it yeah, come out um, of you, or did it come out of some bitch? Momo, Momo Iski <laughs> hands him a, um, a paper that's filling out for kids and all that, for the parent-teacher, and he's like, Oh yeah, you also have to put in um, are you my mom or dad? Hey, which one are you, by the way? It's like, eh, I've been both male and female so many times. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's how they just write And then stuff. at the end of the episode, which is a um, Choji's daughter episode. Isn't this the one where she uses the butterfly wings yep, to get yeah. real thin and fucking Bolt gets a boner? Yeah. It's like, <gasps> my first boner. <laughs> <laughs> Baby's first boner. Why is it going inside me, though? <laughs> what is Get this? Dad! <laughs> Not my territory. <laughs> that, is, that is the no, dad. No, it, is, it is Naruto's territory. That motherfucker's turned into a woman just as many times as tomorrow has. This is be true. <laughs> <laughs> and that one time... With like, the they start having a competition yeah. to see who could be a woman more times than the other. <laughs> wanna... Which, people give Kaguya a shit about the, the reverse harem jutsu. That in the manga, she has a little blush. In the anime, she's just stunned. But it's like, you've been asleep for a few thousand years. And the first thing that comes across you is the reincarnation of your son. Um, your son. Your, your grandson. And turning into several naked men. While you have the Byakugan so you can see everything. You uh, would be How do you react to that? I'll tell you how. The return of the Y boat oh. with a vengeance. <laughs> um, but you know, at the end of the episode the about Choji's daughter, uh, is that the? I heard something like they had to escort a movie star or something. Yeah, which then they had. Let me guess. Them. They had to pamper her and be her fucking personal servants, didn't they? No. No. This wasn't really. They were. They were guarding the movie star, but yeah. Um, I know, but you yeah. know how they fucking yeah. portray movie stars Sorry. in these fucking shows. I mean. We're Land of the Snow the, the movie. Bitches, yeah. Get me my things now, Seven. Oh, yeah, the, the movie star apparently <laughs> proposed to Choji, his daughter. Wait. Yeah. She proposed to Choji's daughter? Do- he proposed. Oh, it was he a proposed. guy the movie, actor. The movie star is a guy. Is a proposed, guy. Yeah. Okay, and I thought it was a female. Choji's daughter. I thought it was a female. Okay. It was... The movie star is basically from Twilight. Uh, what, wait, which one? Are we talking gender swap Twilight with uh, Bella Lugosi and uh, <laughs> Edward Twilight. Norton or whatever the fuck they gave? <laughs> fucking Edwina. Edwina, that's what it was. Yeah, that, I'm not sure because I do think he was a vampire. Though. A ninja the movie vampire. star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> character. No, no, so, no, he just stopped. So, so, congratulations, just, you just broke my wall. Like just. Beep, 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 you so, broke my Chris, you so, asshole. So, how about, how about, how how about we talk about something else for a while? Sure. Nothing yeah, to do with uh, we, anime or the, Naruto. Can we finish the... No. No, we cannot finish. The episode... It's not gonna be about... The episode <laughs> ended. The episode ended. Blade and the Winchester brothers came out of nowhere, stabbed his dick off, it pierced have his to heart, do with the movie cut star. his head off, the movie and then done. fucking as he's trying to like pull himself back together, <laughs> fucking Blade goes, some motherfucker's always trying to ice skate uphill. And then he like porks him in the face with his dick and they fly off into the sunset with this, a rainbow behind him. I don't time. care now! <laughs> No, it's no, no. The, the no, 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 this ends now, sir, and now for something completely different. So, Naruto zombies. <laughs> we already talked about Dark Times. I think there's already been zombies. There has been. There, uh, yeah, yeah, the reanimation no. I don't fucking know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. You can't understand. <laughs> it's not about the no. vampire movie. No, but I was thinking of like other characters to put in the Jump Force game, and I'm like, 
Hey, you throw Yahweh in there. The day sex is mocking at a can from Bleach. Yahweh? He's the last, he's the leader of the Quincy's who, um... Oh, you watch or oh, whatever. He's, oh, so he calls himself God now. <laughs> Just ass. Fucking, you just, just like, ass. You just, like busted like, out Yahweh. I'm just like, wait, is this that fucking God's anime where they're all fighting each other? It's like Buddha and Jesus and no, all not this that other one. shit. Not that one. Oh, we say that for a dark time. We say that for later. There, so that exists? Are, 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 exists? Hey, wait, wait. What about Super Saiyan Hitler? Is, is that a shonen manga? Is that oh, a oh, shonen manga? Oh, 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 uh, 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 Mahjong game? No. Sally no, is not. No, fuck. The, can you just imagine Super Saiyan Goku going against fucking... Super Aryan Hitler? <coughs> no, no, no. You got Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and you got whoever the fuck you care about on one team. And then you look at the other team, and all of a sudden it's Golden Frieza, Super Saiyan Hitler, and some other fuck. <laughs> some other fuck. <laughs> just nickname some other fuck. I don't fucking know. I've got to look up Shonen manga so I know. I can't stop hiccuping. <laughs> but no, the reason why I was thinking of him, because I'm just like... Well, I mean, we already have Aizen. I mean, if we're going to throw Day6 Machina characters in a can, why not just throw him in? He's literally so busted that he did. He only lost through a technicality. <laughs> no, he did! Because his entire <coughs> ability is that he has uh, the ability of multi... He can literally see every single... You know, he has the ability to see every single um, predicament possible. And that's literally his he ability. He sees the outcome of everything. And that's his ability while he's sleeping. When he's awake, he literally becomes God. Yep. Well, okay. And the only person who could stop that was Ishida. And that's because he was the antithesis. He was literally made to be the antithesis by God to be the antithesis to God. Yes, that literally yeah. was. Can you see a loophole in God's plan here? <laughs> to kill the Shinigami I King, shall... destroy the entire thing. I, was... shall create I you. trust you to succeed me when I die. But I'm God, so it's not gonna happen anytime soon. Da, 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 da. Even like, wait, I'm. Which I, love I can. When they bring up well, it's YouTube essentially now. the Lucifer what? Uh, argument. It is. It's like yeah. Like, well, if I bleach can got never, weird, I will I say that. Yeah. Outclass yeah. my dad, and as being good, I'll outclass him being evil. But I remember that because it was like when they first introduced him, it was like, oh, we're, it's like. Oh, yeah, the Quincy's have been wiped out. Oh, yeah, the Quincy's are back. Wait, how? It's like, oh, yeah, the guy who literally gives all the Quincy's their power through his blood gives, like, brings them all back, and they go to a war. Wipe out the Shinigami. Like, sorry, wipe out the Shinigamis. <laughs> Which one? Food Wars! Woo! Actually, yeah, Food Wars is a show name. Dude, his goddamn super's gonna be making people lose their clothes and fly off into a blissful, orgasmic <laughs> scene of food. So, he, yeah, I, I so that's his, gotcha that's his like, that. ultimate, he just well, whips it up. Gotcha he just pulls Kirby's fucking ultimate for Smash and pulls out a big cock <laughs> pot. Cock pot. It's just so cock there it is. I was just gonna say crock pot, but then I'm like, cock pot. Yeah, cock. let's just combine the words together. What do you get, what do you happens when you combine cock and pot? Cock pot. Cock pot! Black Clover. Let's see what else we got. Clover, Gintama. 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 You know they're gonna put shit Oh, no. Gintama, Gintama already said it was gonna be in it. Hunter um, X Hunter. Torco. Torque will probably be in it. My Hero Academia. Yep. They already got One Piece. Uh, bo, 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 bo. No. Fuck no. With a side of God, no. You guys can stop any second now. I will kill you both. We're only using him. We can I... slide together. <laughs> just, just use... I... come over here for recording, just... Bo, 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 bo. Mm, what character pick? Bo, bo, bo. I will kill you instantaneously. Oh, yeah. Shaman King. Shaman King. Oh, shit. Yeah, that'd be cool. So I can see How and Yo being in it. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's been so fucking long since we've seen them. You, you hawk a show. You know who I want from, uh, One Piece? Who? Cat guy. The cat butler. Oh, the guy who, um, has, yeah. who wears the glass who does this specifically because the fact is it's how Dude, you... Dude, I was mocking how that fucking glasses adjustment is. Yeah, for it's this. <laughs> He's a cat because butler. Because the whole thing about it is that the reason why he does it like this is because his fingers have blades in them. So that way, instead of, like, you know how you normally just guys like this? No, it's not that they have blades. They have fucking swords on the right, end of his fingers. That's right. They that's are right. They're full size swords. swords. Ten swords on Ten. his fingers. I'll look him up right now what for a, you. What a silly you know that And he's, out? yeah, he's from a cat-themed pirate group. Yeah, I remember that. All right, then. See, you know the funny thing is, I don't think I ever, I don't, have they ever explained what happened to Zoro's eye? Because it's only during the time skip that happens where he loses his eye. No, I don't think they have. Yeah, they've never explained that. Much like they never explain how Nami and Robin's tits get bigger. But that's side the point. I'll tell you how. Plastic surgery. 
out in the middle of the out in the middle Born of the grand the line. Animators. But in the end, the manga, the manga creator even straight up says, "It's like, yeah, their yeah, their busts got bigger from the time skip." And it's just like, mm. okay, yeah, the bust getting bigger, I can imagine. But what about the rest of them? The it's... toothpicks with tits. Yeah, because the, I mean, I mean, no ass, no, no, no they got ass. any oh, stomach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got yeah. Ass. Hold on, hold on. No, they I got found ass. It. No stomach. Yeah, they're literally they're literally stick figures. That you'd see grade schoolers draw, and then someone just went <laughs> and drew circles on the chest, and then smaller circles on the fucking joint area where the legs meet the pelvic area. It's like, ha 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 ha, it's a girl because it's got tits and a butt. Yeah, here you go. There's a picture of the guy. Yes, that's actually wow. how he fights. Captain Kuro. Wow. And that's how they first For introduced... you folks at home, Captain Kuro, Google an image of this motherfucker. Captain... Look at him adjusting his glasses. Look at this shit. Hold on. I can imagine. That's yeah. There that's... you go. That's how he's doing. It. He's doing it like this with his fucking like hands. It's like, mm-hmm-hmm. which I I tried demonstrating that shit. All I did was manage to like push one side of my glasses up and fuck up how they're sitting on my face. I'm like, you have to use both hands to do shit like this, and then he'd look like a fucking goofball. Cause I I don't see how yeah. that would work. So you go, Katrina. Free time skip. <laughs> That's what she looked like with the cowboy outfit. Yeah, yep. nice and normal. And then post time skip. Thinner yes. stomach, wider hips, bigger bust. That's you know what I would... need? I need to just like punch my stomach hard enough to split the fat that's still there into my tits no, no. and ass. At that point, they got rid of ribs. They they literally they don't have enough... ribs to begin with. with. They're fucking stick people. In my They're tits and ass. All stick people. Luke that's, is the only one you could actually that's... make an excuse because he actually has the gum powers. That's that's not that's not how puberty works. What's puberty? <laughs> like it 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 seriously makes me wonder. Does she have a bulge in those pants? Does she eat? No, it, go yeah, back she to does. Yeah, she does. She, she does. Has, it's confirmed. She has a penis. <laughs> Nami has a penis, boys. She's poisoned from Street Fighter. Get <laughs> used to it. She's a free Nami. Again, penis. normal, normal. She looks I, normal. I that other picture with the bulge. I want to see that again. Yeah. Doesn't it look like she has a bulge? That, in those that pants? is a bulge. That is a bulge. Holy shit! She's, a she's got a penis. She's got a penis. <laughs> well, you have to think about it. They, you heard it here they first, made her folks. Tits and ass bigger. Or, yeah, or you, the know, internet. you know why they made them bigger? To distract from the bigness down yeah. here. No, that they, time they skip grew a lot of things. The for the internet, so not, why not also add a penis? You know. Yeah, we need to hire another uh, another guy to draw for us. Um, check the internet for some guys. Uh, let's, how about this guy? He does pretty good. Oh, yeah, that's pretty nice. That's a good pinup. Let's see, who is this? Shadman. Eh, it could Shad work. Man. It could work. And they'll never talk about it again. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> and then their new planner comes in and is like, you know, this picture's good, but she's wearing too much, uh, she's, she's showing too much skin. We need to put her in more conservative clothing, you know what I'm saying? A little more conservative, and um, we need to set a new setting for the scene. We can't keep putting them on the same fucking boat. We need to put them in it, yes. Exactly. <laughs> I love it, just you're like, because you said yes. outfits, and I just have to scroll past, and I yes. see this, and I'm just like, yes. Yes. It's Robin in Luffy's outfit. And, and you're selling it. You're selling and you're, it. And you're, you're selling it. You're selling it. <laughs> Why did that become a thing for us all of a sudden? <laughs> selling it? I brought that up at work when... I was watching Jurassic Park the night before the day that shit started. <laughs> and it's just like, and, and, you're, and you're selling it. You're selling it. I don't know. I, I hadn't watched Jurassic Park for like months. Uh, just somebody brought up something. And it's like... They're selling it. They're selling it. You gotta make sure you like, yeah. slam your hand onto something uh, to make uh, stuff shake. Because that's what that's what Ian Malcolm did. It's just and you're you're selling it. You're selling it. I like how the lawyer just like <laughs> flinches and starts <laughs> laughing to himself because Malcolm's pounding on the table. He's just like <laughs> Oh, you're so strong. <laughs> you're so strong. God. Oh, oh my nightmares. Yeah, he, Make sure you don't put anything on that table, Chris, because it'll affect the mic. mic. Yeah. So use this or use the desk next to you. Because I don't want this. I don't want this getting pounded like that. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Fucking. I don't. Uh, any last thoughts on Jump? 
Um, I mean, we've got it. I think there's enough of a we, roster. To we've just... been trying to talk about Jump for so long. And it just gets segued into other keeps things. And segueing into just everything. Oh, yeah, that's right. Shonen Jump actually has um, uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, so we're going to see some. Oh, Dio! Oh, Dio has oh, to be. No. If Dio does not kill White, I swear to God. Dio's gotta be the villain. I thought life was With the, the villain. villain. But it was actually me! Dio! Dio! Georgia! Fist of the North Star. Shonen. I I think so. I think it was actually pretty. I don't know. I'd have to double check that. <laughs> um, I know we're getting a game in October. If we yeah, could get... Game. If we could get Fist of the North Star, Is and we could get JoJo to combine forces, oh we'll, get, God. we'll get Mudadas, <laughs> and we'll get... I want that as a tag team. And oh, God. You activate the move at the I, same time. They just catch the first I, I want a cutscene introducing these two fighters. And they that's the first thing they do. And <laughs> I want it, I want I want a good five second clip of that shit. So the internet has five whole seconds to work with for memes for the rest of <laughs> my <laughs> life. <laughs> I love the re- I actually love I remember watching um yeah. the Joseph Bizarre Adventure thing and as well it's a documentary of the explanation of where those come from was literally listening to sound bites that the um, creator was listening to and was just fucking around with it and he was like, he wanted them to have, um, he wanted every pe- impact to have like a specific sound effect. So he actually wanted them to say it. That's where you get the and from. Because that's when you imagine just, that's where you imagine just I like Fist of the North Star better because of the like Oh my god, how did you know I was deathly allergic to tickling? You're already dead. Because <laughs> 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 it's Fist of the North Star. Fist of the North Star, Judge of Star Adventure, the two animes where it's just like, you know, no, Fist of the North Star is one of those animes where you just watch and you go, yeah, you know what? This is straight up just, this is brutal, violent, wastelander, badass. And it's just like, fuck it. People will just explode, pokes a finger into someone's head, and just. Rawr! Sounds like my kind of anime. Oh, God. Well, no, 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 no. You know what we all need to do one day? What? Watch the live action Fist of oh, the North God, Star no. movie! Oh, no! Oh, yeah! No! Oh, yeah! He already made me sit through the freaking Full Metal Ox movie! I ain't going back in that hole! Hey, yeah, but you know what this has that that doesn't? Riff tracks. <laughs> that doesn't make it better. It does. It makes it okay. Let's put it this way Twilight, unwatchable in any way, shape, or form. Riff tracks? I, agree. I can watch it. Wolfbang God. What? I can watch a terrible movie? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I grew up watching fucking Mystery Science Theater 3000, so I'm used to watching terrible movies with commentary. That's why me and my brother will sit there in the theater and we'll be like, okay, we're sitting here. Because we'll sit there and lean over and just like... I just hit the mic with my head, so I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> That's my bad. I, I'm really, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to do that to you. I was just... Know, but that I have a special relationship with you that you guys are so cool, but they're not. And it's just uh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> well, I'm actually legitimately surprised that's never actually crossed over. It's just another Star Jones Bizarre Adventure. It's like, it's a, it seems hey, like the I'll, love I'll, child. I'll tell you why. Tell you why. They haven't done it yet. They have not. I want that, or I want. Well, that's um, the only reason they haven't I done it. I would like yet. Avatar, though, the last thing I'm here, and show me jump. That would be a weird out of left field. That's that's a Nickelodeon thing, though. Yeah. Yeah. Not a a Shonen Jump thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only thing. But I mean, that would be out of left field, but I mean, I would give them credit for getting the right to do it. I don't even think Shonen would use non-properties for this. Uh, no, because there's a lot of games that they released, like, mostly on the Game Boy Advance and the DS that were fighting games that were built (laughs) like that. This is the only one that's built that's like a big city. Most of them were actually built like you were fighting in the comic panels. Yeah, I know. I know. Those were the um, the Jump Stars ones from before, and they didn't make it over to the U.S. because of licensing problems. Because all the shonen shit that they had, they piecemealed out to different companies for translation and publication in the U.S. and abroad. Yep. Therefore, the rights to that game for publication in any country outside of Japan would be impossible. 
all the way it's up like, until... It's like, with, let's say somebody in Japan wanted to do, do something with Marvel and just bring all that shit over. They couldn't. Because, well, now they can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but back before Disney took over Fox and got that shit back, they couldn't. Yeah. Because the licensing properties for these two things were all over here, and this was all over there. Yeah, luckily it changed during the PlayStation 4 era, because I remember they released the one uh, Jumpstar game from before now, and now we have the Jump Force coming in with that. Yeah. Yeah. Where it's so detailed you can even see the <laughs> fur on Naruto's jacket. Do a fucking red count on that shit. His face looks so dumb. <laughs> yeah, looks dumb. Dude, in that first trailer, his face looks so fucking goofy. I swear to God. Well, I mean, to be like, fair... Like, Luffy looked fine. Goku, look, hey, look he's, he's, good. he's good. He just has... He looks like he's too, like, polished for my taste. Frieza, <laughs> his head looks silly. Well, to be fair... But, no, no, like, in his, his head normally? Okay, I can... It's fine. But this way, Are the way they did like it in the new? trailer... No, no, the... Very first Jump Force trailer. No, they no, put I'm out. not talking about the Jump Force. I'm talking like a for Frieza from. Are you talking about the new Frieza form, what? or are you talking the Frieza from the anime? Because no, no, that no, no. Na- I'm Nene. talking about the first Jump Force yeah. trailer. So you're talking about Final Frieza. I'm Frieza. talking about the Jump Force trailer. Do we see any other form of Frieza in that trailer? You only see Final I mean, Form. Like the detail of him. No, like it's he, originally Frieza had a very big head. They changed it for the new uh, Super. And I think that's what they did is they shrunk his head down. Yeah. I'm talking about the design he has in the Jump Force trailer. I've said it like three times now. Yes. I'm not talking about Super. I'm not talking about the anime. I'm not talking about any other fucking thing. I'm saying the way he looks in Jump Force's first trailer yeah. looks dopey. And what I'm saying is they probably went off the Namekian arc, Frieza. I don't know. how they... Dude, they, they made him look doofy. They made Art Naruto's face look stupid. It's the design they used to generate the 3D model that I'm talking about. They almost make Goku look a little stupid. Luffy is probably the only one who looked good in all of that. From what we saw from the beginning parts of the trailer. We only see, like, a slash cut standing back shot of fucking Rook and Light, right. so there's no way I can make, a, like, a judgment call on that. Blackbeard looks good. Vegeta looks a little silly. I don't know if it's the hairline or something, but his hair looks off. I think it's just that modeling effect, and I'm looking at it, and it is, it's just very much like when you look at it, the models just look very, just, very off. Like, it looks very, like, it's trying to still be cartoonish, Oh, but yeah. it's, oh. like, it's... Yeah, trying to do that full 3D detail. That, that Widow's Peak face. is a little too yeah. much. Yeah, see, there and that's what I'm talking about. The designs in the Jump Force trailer. The way they made things look in the trailer. But they I'm not talking about the design basis they're going with. Look at Light Yagami and the anime. What did the Netflix adaptation make them look like? This be true. Well, that was a bad. bitch! Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was their choice for Netflix. Yeah. That was Netflix's decision. Not this guy's decision over here. It sure doesn't look it's, well, it's different with animation in real life. So... I know, but you can change know. things to make them look yeah. very nice. For instance, Marvel Ultimates, Nick Fury. What did he look like in those? Originally? And in the Ultimate Marvel Ultimates, Nick Fury. What did yeah, he, look he like? was Samuel Jackson. Yeah? yeah. Well, what, what, what did Nick Fury look like in uh, the movies? Samuel Jackson. Jackson. Holy shit! Well, it depends which one Nick Fury you're talking about. The original one or... Marvel Ultimate, yeah. Chris. What did we just say? Yes. Marvel Ultimates, they specifically made him black. Bald, with an eye patch and a, du- a long trench that's coat. That's because that's one they based off Samuel Jackson. No, yeah. Yeah, They because when Samuel Jackson went into the comic book store, he saw a comic book that looked exactly like him. They He called them up. It's like, yeah, I know. Would you, would you like I know. To be in the movie? I know. And what did they do? They could have hired any other motherfucker that was black, or even hired a, a white guy to be the old they, OG Nick Fury. What did they go with? Samuel L. Jackson. Actually, they originally did. George Clooney was signed on completely and had signed the contract to be Nick Fury. It was up until the point that he read one of the comics where Nick Fury gutted a guy and killed his own intestines in order to survive. 
he said the comic was too violent for him, and he backed out the last second. So they went, okay, let's go get him here. What? It's the, a, the, the monitor screen. went to sleep. It's That's fine. All. Okay, making sure. I I know what I'm doing over here. <laughs> Trust me. But yeah, I, I use this. Why they went with Ultimate? Originally, they wanted to go with White Classic Nick Fury, but it's just yeah. like he backed out. So it's like, okay, let's do Samuel Jackson. Hey, it's Sam, in. you want it? Yeah, sure. Fuck yeah. It's to keep it's to keep color from bleeding through and making the monitor fuck up. Okay. It's no so like if you turn off a TV and you still see images that kind of bleed in on when you turn it off, or when you turn it on, you still see that image kind of sitting there on the screen, even though it's that showing something else. That's because your image. TV's dying. Okay. If you leave it on a pause screen too long, like just if you have an older model TV, I don't know if it'll do it for this, but this monitor's old as fuck. So, I don't want this monitor bleeding over effects or busting pixels. So. Look at the details of, like, that is actually much more horrifying just, when you look at the still frames for uh, when Luffy turns into his, um, the iron form. Just because, like, the scar on his chest is, like, yeah, that's the super only thing. detailed. It's, like, kind of disturbingly detailed. That That's the only thing about that trailer that kind of, like, made me go, what the fuck, Luffy? Yeah, because, like, I've seen that form, yeah. and it's, like, in the anime, it's not that bad, but it's, like, when you see it in, like, this hyper detail, it's, like, ugh, that's a little... Yeah. Mm. Sanji looked decent. I only saw, like, a few bits of him in the tra the newer trailers. Blackbeard looked decent. The fucking ace successor kid. Oh, uh, yeah. The other friend of Luffy. Uh, yeah. The other friend of Luffy. We didn't hear about it until it fucking showed up. That's a, that's literally what happened. This, this is all shit. Is, He's like, that's oh, some yeah. fan fiction shit right there. I'm your long lost friend that you never you mentioned me. at all. That's and, how they wrote a bit. It was like, oh yeah, he was one of the kids who hung out with Luffy and then when they were kids, he was just off in the background. That's like some fucking like fucking terrible ass fan fiction shit where the main character of your fan fiction is the long lost relative or friend of or Harry that. Potter I'm your long lost brother no you're not get the fuck out I'm your childhood girlfriend that you never mentioned again because I took the under a set of stairs only I had it worse you know that kind of shit I had to live Basically. Okay, let's let's I was, let's, I was let's go. Bullied <laughs> mercilessly for my weight. You were the only guy who was nice to me, and then you forgot about me. Okay, so we're I gonna we're gonna end. Black, now I'm white. Let's let's date Ron. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Did you... Oh, cause okay, this is okay. Uh, we're gonna uh, yeah, I used down. to black, and now I'm white. I used to be black. black now I'm white. Oh, okay. Now let's date Ron. <laughs> because Hermione. Oh yeah, Lavender Brown. Not Hermione. Oh, oh well, Lavender. Yeah, Lavender, Lavender Brown, Brown in the Harry Potter black. movies was black. And they switched her with the white girl. In the books, she was black. In the movie, for whatever no, reason. No, in, even in the movie. Well, mid-movie. they Yeah, well, not mid in mid-movies, mid they switched her to a white girl. So it's just like, okay, fuck it. I used to be black, now I'm white. Let's do it, Ron. And no, and no, they did change her mind. They changed her mind from white to black because that was a little controversy with In Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, child. And that was stupid. Right. In Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, it said her mind is black. Yes. Hermione's supposed to be black. She's and even J.K. Rowling really said Hermione was black the entire time. No, she. F <laughs> you think I'm joking? Dumbledore was gay the entire, the entire time. time because I am creator. I am. God I am the Lord. god of these words, and they so, are mine. So why didn't she say anything when the movies came out? Because fuck you, money. Because the studio. Why didn't she do say anything about want. Dumbledore being gay when the movies came out? She money. did at some point. Yeah. No, she said it after the book, uh, after the last movie came out. Because yeah. I, I they alluded to it a lot in the books and shit, but they never flat out say he's gay. It's not until Rowling confirmed it after the movies came out that he was gay that he was gay. I thought it was around the sixth movie that no. she. No, it was no. after the movies were done because that's the whole thing about it. It's the reason why. Yeah, we're gonna that's why. Because like, now there's no controversy to stop the next series in the Harry Potter movies to get fucking canceled. So the controversy lies in wait, and she's just like, I'll wait till this is wrapped up, like I would do if I had controversy about my characters that I didn't flat out state. And then after it's like, it so it's Dumbledore gay. Yeah, he's gay. It could have also helped with the, the book sales, because after she announced that, the book sales went up a little bit. It's also a nice uh, delayed marketing strategy. Yeah. So, Which, to be fair, it could be that, because when J.K. Rowling tried to leave Harry Potter... And go on her murder sci-fi mystery I have kind that of thing. book. I haven't read it yet. 
It I failed horribly, so she went right back to Harry Potter. Pretty much, she's, it's one of those where she got stuck. She's stuck it's, doing it's, it. And that's, that's where she's like, you know what? Time to expand the universe. And that's why she started helping with shit like Fantastical Beasts. Yeah. Because yeah. at this point, it's like, fuck it. And, as and she worked on the fucking, what was that one? Um, the Cursed Child. Right. That's yeah. supposed to be like a onstage play. It originally was an onstage play that someone, that uh, one of her, because she made it as an onstage play, as some kind of a side thing just to do and have some fun. With Voldemort's and, daughter. And nope. it was that, um... What? It's her stupid. Director. Yeah, Voldemort has a daughter with, um... Bellatrix. Bellatrix. Bellatrix Lestrange. When did this happen? Don't know. Nobody apparently, fucking knows. Apparently she's In young between and, the... His resurrection and... The with, ha- not the Half-Blood Prince, um... The Goblet of Fire. Fire. Yeah, Goblet of Fire... And the Battle of Hogwarts, I guess. Battle of Hogwarts. It because, happens sometimes. Because she's the same age as Harry and Malfoy's kids. Which again, Harry's kid has the probably the best arc in my opinion because it's like everyone's expecting him's like, You're the son of Harry Potter. You're gonna live up to your dad. You're gonna have all these great adventures. He goes through three years of his school. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. And just everyone's going, Man, you're supposed to be Harry Potter, but you're supposed to go do stuff. So he has a little bit Man, of resentment towards his dad. Find, like, like the yeah. Chamber of Secrets beneath the Chamber of Secrets. secrets. You know, your dad saved the Wizarding World. He went all these adventures. You're just an average Man. kid. Good. I don't want to... My dad died and was brought back to life. Yeah, but that would have been so much cooler. Oh, yeah. Um, that's another thing J.K. Rowling did. Um, the... Which um, one? Uh, the Legend of Deathly Hallows, mm-hmm. the symbol. Yeah. There was a representation with the modern era of Harry Potter, with Voldemort being the eldest brother because he sought the wand, mm-hmm. Snape being the second oldest because he was focused on bringing his loved one back to uh, life, and uh, Harry's supposed to represent the third brother. The, one with the, the smart yeah. one. one. The one that... And then somebody asked, who represents death? J.K. Rowling said, Dumbledore. Because Harry greets Dumbledore in the afterlife as an old friend. Hmm. Uh, Dumbledore is the one that gave Harry the invisibility cloak in the uh, first movie. Hmm. And he also owned the Elder Wand at some point. Yeah. Yeah. So and the, the and the ring and the ring yeah because yeah. it was so, the ring yeah Dumbledore represents death in the Harry Potter yeah have you seen his hands look at that shit that's a fucking Grim Reaper ass looking crap right there <laughs> <laughs> looking like a fucking gnarled tree lamb crossed with Skeletor's also, fucking penis I ain't having that shit touch me and as I pr- and as get I get your creepy old man hand away from me it's that um. Hogwarts is the worst school to go to as a wizarding school because you're stuck with elitist. If you go to the American school, it's actually the most mellow and the most democratic, allowing non-magic people just in the school. And then there's the most evil school. (laughs) Yes, it's a Swedish school that literally is considered the most heinous because they study... They are the ones who study just defense of the dark arts to the point that most over 95% of the kids who go to that school end up becoming dark wizards. (laughs) That's where Grindelwald came from. He got kicked out. Malfoy was supposed to go there, but apparently his mom wanted him a bit closer. <laughs> just imagine, like, Swiss Guard sitting there, just, like, with the rest of, uh, fucking Death, death Box, like, the Dutch are scum. I mean, I know it was somewhere in Scandinavia. I don't know if it was Sweden or, or, it was, it was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> someone's gonna need Now I'm just imagining <laughs> Death Clock showing up oh, at one of these magical battles or some shit, <laughs> and then just see Voldemort and fucking just, like, Swiss Guard and Tokyo are just like, Hey, it's that guy! <laughs> oh, look at him, he's got his great plus ones. <laughs> he's, not, he's not the magic man. He's got snow nose. <sighs> he's got snow nose. Hey, uh, <laughs> you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, I that's, miss that that's show. showing him right here. Yeah, you tell him, Nathan. <laughs> oh, Nathan, you... you fuck. <laughs> God, I miss oh, my, I I think he's choking all the peanuts again. <laughs> it was a long flight. He took all the bags they had. <laughs> oh, oh no! A murder face. <laughs> just lying on the uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we should do the himmel flimmel maneuver. Uh, what's what's his himmel flimmel? 
It's when you punch him in the t- stomach really hard. Okay, everyone is just like, start beating his stomachs. <laughs> oh, yeah, Toki says, good idea. Let's, let's punch him in the stomach. <laughs> oh, don't worry, we're doing this to save you, man. Was that from an episode? No, no. I made this all up as I went. And then just Voldemort sitting there just like, the fuck is that? <laughs> He just holds up his wand, he's just like... Uh, He's having this real moral dilemma. To kill? Not to kill. To kill? Not to kill. Draco, fetch me popcorn. (laughs) I don't know why I sound like the Joker, but let's do this. (laughs) (laughs) Oh yeah, there's also uh, two time turners left. In all the world. Yep. Draco actually owns one. Yep. He He actually owns the best one. Why? A, um, he, why? Because he's like some Trump wannabe in this shit? I have the best time turner. <laughs> nope. It's one of two left in the world, but it's the best. It's, it's the only one that has, has no limit. limit. It can go all the way back. I want to see the dinosaurs. <laughs> yes, he could. Actually he could go. actually go all the way and kill Voldemort as a young he just, kid. He just comes back and there's a meteor coming. This is a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Duval! Um, I am Salazar Slytherin. Yeah. No, that's... Actually, which him and his dad had possession of it. Yes. Oh, because yeah, it's a family it's a family heirloom, apparently. I, I randomly to... watched some video about how Draco uh, went on to become like a, a decent a, a decent fucking guy. Yeah. And, it's like, and good, he uh good for you, Draco. He has a son and he always thought about bringing his wife back using the time turner, but decided against it because not only does it violate her wish to, to have the child give him something because she was cursed or something yeah but yeah yeah and meanwhile his family like resents him for like saying no fuck you i'm a man pretty much <laughs> i am a man well, didn't, didn't they kind of fuck off before shit really hit the fan oh yeah they did yeah they, they fucked off into like um, the never, i do love the an interesting easter egg is um when draco's dad was gonna cast Lucius. on harry it was originally gonna be a vatacadabra <laughs> Yeah, they edited that out because yeah. originally it was gonna be that. Because the first thing that came to his head was um, the actor's head was that was Vatacadabra, and it's like that's the killing curse spell. It was like J.K. Rowling was like, "You're gonna use the killing curse spell for this part." Well, I mean, you just said come up with the spell on top of my head, and I just went with that one. It was the one I can remember. It's the only one that sounded cool. <laughs> And sounded like something you'd say when you were really angry at, something, at someone. Something. <laughs> it's, I don't, I don't know. Hey, I will always take back a cadaver. Best yeah. damn spell uh, in the fucking world. That Septum Subpro can actually do but some real damage, a, though. That okay. slices you yes, to a point where you can't heal. But it's not one of heal. the unforgivable <laughs> curses. It and should be. It should be. be. <laughs> but it isn't. Wasn't that Snape one that fucking uh, Snape, yeah. Snape yeah. made? Yeah. It's yeah. only in the diary. Yeah, because Snape made a spell. Snape made a fucking, like... Flechette shotgun blast spell. Yeah, just like boom, headshot. <laughs> boom, motherfucker, <laughs> headshot. I'm gonna kill a motherfucker no with this tonight. Do Why do you think the, the book says and- for enemies? <laughs> I was pretty, mu- I was pretty emo when I was a kid. He's, he was and then Harry tries to use though. that shit. He's like, bitch, please, and knocks it back at him. Just like, yeah, hurts, don't it. That's do, my no, spell. No, that's why I still love it uh, when Voldemort explains what happens when you get hit with the villain killing curse. And it's the equivalent of being punched in the soul. Because apparently it's supposed to be instant death. But because it was a weakened version of the reflected, it, that's why it, just, it apparently just punched him in the soul that and ripped him apart. That he had a bunch of bits of him just scattered around the world. With Partially. The, 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 yeah, the, that's so, why it hurt like a muscle so when get back. So, punch to the soul. So it's a Bruce Lee punch harnessed into a spell. Pretty much, that's okay. what it is. Because I gotta much... remember this for D&D. <laughs> so, <laughs> Avada Kedavra! No, for you to do that, motherfucker, I'll make it... Cause that's Dude, instant... there is a Avada Kedavra. It's called Killing Word Curse. It's... Or Killing Word, or whatever. It's like, Power Word Kill. Power Word Death, whatever the fuck mm-hmm. it is. I don't know. It's it's one of those. I need to see if I can use that. <laughs> it might not be on my spell list. <laughs> it might not be, but... I hope to God I'll punch this. you so hard in the soul. I will punch you through the face. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm gonna punch your face, soul. Or you can do something worse when you throw him to the giant at the soul mirror. Yeah. Which is when freaking Sirius Black got kicked into that. Yeah. Which, yeah, that was just the most 
Why do we have this? In the yeah, the, the, the soul mirror that like, it's like, oh, it did, did to death, you walk through did, that, and did, there is no coming back. Do they have, like, little summon monster spells or something? Yeah, in yeah. Harry Potter? Yeah. Yeah, because it was shown yeah, in uh, the battle, uh, the what battle? I don't, when they were doing the wizarding trials. Oh, uh, yeah, the Triwizard Tournament. It was the dragon battle. He Not had that to, part. Oh. I'm talking yeah, about back Chamber during Chamber of Secrets. Because remember, when summon summon summon, he summoned a snake, and that's when Harry started doing parcel talk. So you can summon him. Um, Draco. Yeah. Draco summoned yeah. a snake. Uh, I think that was, that wasn't Sectum Sephra, yeah. but, uh, that no, was. No, that was Sectum Sephra. Because, yeah, that's summoning a snake. Because you can summon, you can summon Sector, animal. yeah, Sectum Sephra, I mean, little snake. Okay, so. I'm trying to think, because and then, that was also Snape's spell, too. And then, Unless um, that was a different, I don't know, I don't remember, um, I don't remember what the pronunciation of this shit is, it's all Latin, I don't care. Then, the one failure. No, Serpent Sortier, that's right. what it was. And then the, the, is the one where you fake teacher, up. major bookseller guy, gave it poisonous uh, fangs. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's right. He yeah, upgraded he upgraded it. That's right. He did. Yeah, it's a uh, serpent sorta. Uh, serpent sordia. God, yeah, like, serpent sordia is the su- snake summoning spell. See, that's a bad move summoning a snake. You gotta summon something that'll catch him by surprise, so you can. Whip to the side and just get him with another one. So like great. Ravenclaw, it's summoning an eagle. Eagle? Why the fuck's an eagle? Ah, uh, <laughs> time to summon uh, Ravenclaw's most powerful weapon. Eagle. That's what? that's dumb. That's that's also dumb. Like, right? Aren't you supposed they're to summon a too, raven? Nope. They're, they're thinking too basic. You got to go outside the box. You got to go bigger. You gotta you gotta summon a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. You gotta summon shit like Old Greg. So that, no one would suspect you a fucking Harry Potter just be like and just like boosh out of the floor like through a splashy little burst comes old Greg he's like I'm old Greg I got a mangina and he just lifts his ballerina tutu to skirt a, and to a blazing of beam of light like, for his mangina and Harry suspended. Potter can just go what's up just like knock I, I their ass I feel like out. you not I feel suspended. like you would get suspended. Like would be For what? Summon an old Greg? What's the worst he's gonna do? Make people drink Baileys? Creamy Baileys from an old shoe? I don't fucking think that's a problem. <laughs> These kids are in England. They can drink by the time they're fucking what? 16, 18? I don't fucking I know. I mean, technically speaking, yeah. The, the, the really joke drink, is that if you can see over the counter table, yeah, you can drink. <laughs> because that's the running joke with it. But the thing about it is, it's, it's Hogwarts. As proven... There's several books for the defense of the dark arts, including forbidden knowledge books. I think at this point they don't give a oh, fuck yeah. about those kids. Here's the, someone's gonna summon. We old were Greg. talking. I'm waiting for about. It. I want to see a fan teacher. fiction where they have someone bring in old oh, Greg. Greg. I want to see that. Anyone out there on the internet, if you find that, link me that shit. I don't care how bad it is. I want to read it just to see old Greg screaming all caps, font stretch across this page. I'm old Greg. <laughs> I got a mangina. We were talking about who the best. Um, it's not my immortal. I'm fine. Who is the best defensive against the dark arts teacher? The motherfucker that didn't die. <laughs> Lupin. Well, no, he died no, no. at the end. But no, still. Lupin died. Most of the defense dark arts. Yeah, because that's died. the curse. Yeah, the curse is. You will something Techn- really bad will happen to you. Technically, Professor yeah, Quirrell seems why. to last. Yeah, a while. that's why we said. Professor Quill is the best teacher because apparently he had been doing it for multiple years until Harry um, showed, up. showed up. But he died. Yes. He did die. But so, he was the longest teacher. So, so that made him you the asked best. who's the best one. I said the one that didn't die. Which one is left? Um, Wait, was that Barry's teacher the defense of dark arts? Uh, the, the pompous ass that actually didn't really do much? Yeah. Uh, yes, technically he is still the, alive, but the he guy, is. The guy who sells the books, who's a Lockhart, phony. Lockhart. Yeah, Lockhart. Yeah, Lockhart. Yeah, he, he became insane. insane. Yeah, but, but, he a... but he went insane and totally forgot himself. And he's locked up in Azkaban. But Not he's Azkaban. He's, a, he's alive. actually St. Mundigos, I think. Uh, yeah. it's, but he's, it's alive. he's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Did he really teach anybody anything? No. Yeah. He sucks. Yeah, he, that he doesn't really make him like that. Uh, uh, to uh, do. I said the one that didn't die. die. Yeah. Who's he to compare? Who's he going to sit there with a reunion of all his other dark <laughs> arts? Guys? Like, yep. The Wizard well, of Asylum. I mean, he's still alive. 
That means he's bested the curse of the dark arts teaching profession. Which yeah, means, I mean, which yes, means... He didn't survive. He still else, suffered a curse. He did suffer a curse. That's not really like a well, curse. Well, that was also self-inflicted, too. It was self-inflicted. Because he was, was going to... He used a shitty wand, yeah, used Ron's wrong shitty wall. wand, to try to make them forget everything because that's his... Yeah. But the curse isn't is that shit. suddenly a giant anvil will appear above you and crush you. It's that bad luck will come across you. I know, but in comparison Well, that was every- his bad luck. He's not dead. He's alive. So he is the best defense against the Dark Arts teacher. In terms of in, being alive. In terms of in breaking te- that streak. In terms of how you would rank a teacher of actually teaching somebody, it'd be Professor Quill. Because he actually lasted the damn Will long. and uh, Lupin, technically. What they did were Dumbledore super teach? Dumbledore didn't teach shit! Um, no, he did actually master. teach. He was the, the No, uh, before he became headmaster, he actually did teach. What did he teach? What did he teach? I'm I, trying to think. It wasn't Defense Against Dark Arts. No, because I was like, because he was in Defense Against Dark Arts teacher, because, yeah, no. I think he he was either per, uh, what Professor McGonagall does, or... Uh, Transfiguration. Yeah. Or, um, um, maybe Potions? No, no, I don't no, imagine no, potions. No, not no. potions. Um, not I like how one of the auto finish options by just putting in dumb is Dumbledore. <laughs> <laughs> dumb! Dumbledore. Hey, it's better than putting in his actual long ass name. But Dumbledore hey. Rodriguez von Baron von Stolkenberg. Transforming uh, The Britannia the Third. Transfiguration teacher. Yep, so, so he was, was Professor him. McGonagall. Yeah, okay. he was a transfiguration teacher. And that's why Tom she... Riddle tells him. And that's why she took his place at one point yeah. as headmistress. And then he became headmistress. Yeah. Oh, uh, here we go. Here's an auto finish option: defense against the dark arts teachers. Snape. Yeah. Yeah, he was. He, one yeah, for he a was. While. A Gilderoy Lockhart, Alistair when Moody. We, when they got the potions master guy, they were like, "Hey, Snape, why not play defense against the dark arts?" And we didn't actually see him teach a single thing. Oh. Snape actually did teach some things. We saw him teach during the Lupin, but we didn't see him No, teach. we did. We did, because um, that we year Snape teach. was teaching them okay, how to so, wordlessly So here you spells. go, Chris. Here's a list. Here's a list of the teachers ranked from best to worst. Uh, Pottermore. I don't know what that is. Pottermore is the official uh, J.K. Rowling Harry website, because yeah. you, can sign, you can actually sign up for Pottermore to find out what school you'd go to both in... And what's your freaking... Oh, is this where everyone's going to get their goddamn sorting hat shit done? I thought that was like a fucking like online. No, no, no. It's actually play. like it's an also official where website. You get your Patronus. Yeah, it's where you yeah. get your Patronus, get- your wand, and your um your house, your house, both in the both in Hogwarts and the American schools. Because that's why I know my wand is very powerful, but it gets bored my, very fucking easily. It can get. I'm literally meant to be go on adventures, apparently. Because if you stay in one place for too long, his wand would literally no. self destruct and explode. It was also trying to explode if I do like so something like grabbing my slippers with it for like six hundred times. Like six hundredth time, it will just literally just explode. It's meant to go like go on have adventures. Do something with me. Can my Patronus be old gray? <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> just oh. expect a Patronum! Expect a Patronum! I'm old, old Greg! Greg. Oh, my soul animal is old Greg. Greg. <laughs> I mean Old Greg is my spirit <laughs> animal. I think I got some sort of cat. Boy! Fetch me some creamy Baileys. Other boy, fetch me an old you know shoe. What it's time is? to get some crayons and draw. Cat or a cat you know what sword? my Patrovis is? A whale. <laughs> I would still do I got. Do you have to sign I can up take out shit? all the Dementors. Yes, <laughs> who, who is going to be able to fight a whale? Okay. Nobody. Okay, so uh, Lupin was top. Yeah, he actually taught them a lot. Snape was next in line. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lockhart is after them. Okay. Mad Eye Moody. Uh, the Bar- Mad Eye Moody. The, Bowdy, is higher. the Barty Crouch Jr. version. Yeah. Yep. Mad Eye Moody w- would be higher because he taught them the Humphrey He actually curses. taught them things. Amicus Caro. I didn't even. Dolores Umbridge. Oh, fuck. I forgot. Quirrell. And Washington that's, it. that's yeah. it. Yeah. At the very bottom. So I would, I would still rank him higher. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I was in the top three on that list. Well, I was in the top proud. three. Top three, baby. Whoop, whoop! That's bronze. That's in the medals. We're <laughs> on the grandstand. We're getting an anthem played for us tonight. Woo! See, Olympics! How, how I would go with uh, Coral being the first, Snape, Lupin, then everyone else. Then who gives a fuck? fuck. <laughs> they're not the top three. Because <laughs> they're not the top three. Yeah. Lupin right. did tease him a lot, and... 
Snape did teach them, even when he was a substitute, he still taught them how to fight Lupin originally. How to fight werewolves, and then in that book where he was teacher, he taught them how to do wordless spells. Like, pretty much you just wave your wand and Except for that spells. one kid who was the most powerful kid in the entire wizarding world, who was in the shop, who was stirring his tea with just his fingers. Oh, yeah, he was moving, was he was moving, He was moving a spoon with just, That like, was just in the movie, though. Yeah, but to remember, it te- it's the most powerful wizarding ability because the fact is that he can do spells without, without a wand it and, and without a wand. Can only do it with eye concentration. Side panel. Also, Snape yeah. and no, here's uh, the thing, were able to do that too. That guy, that guy was reading a book while doing. it. Yeah, I remember that scene. Yeah, because um, I'm like, Quirrell, wait, where's that motherfucker's wand? Yeah, Quirrell and Snape were also able to do it without a wand. Yeah, and you know what else they were they, also remember, able? To- they did the um, the charm spell. On a moving object, several feet away from them, in midair. You you didn't quite see their wands, though, but at the same time, I think they might have just had their wands sort of under their no. cloaks. No, with Snape, we actually see that both his hands were on his lap. Well, all right, then. Hot damn. Yep. Because when the other guy next both... to him sees him, he's like, You're on fire! You're on fire! <laughs> so, yeah, even without his hands, he was only able to do it by muttering. Mm. Yeah. Because we see their hands sitting there. I remember that shit. But you know what else they were also able to do without a wand? Can anyone guess? In this fucking podcast! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a fucking well, you over. Do you get uh, no, uh, <laughs> 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 